Yo, yeah, yo, boys. How's it hanging? I've been wanting to play this all day. But I had to be a productive human being. Okay, okay. Am I the one quacking? Or oh, people quacking from outside? So I tried to make a lot of uh, metal pumps. Oh, I have so much coal, I don't even know what to do with it. Guess I might as well just fill them up, right? Here we have... Maybe max this one out, do it reverse. What do you have? Is then it's twice as fast. That's not how it works. But I think we have plenty of metal. No. Now that I look at it again, I'm not sure we have plenty of metal. Hey, Finders! Thanks for tuning in, man. I'm good, I'm good. How are you? You know, when you get those kind of games where you think about them all day, this is one of those. I've just been thinking about it, coming back and playing this. I'm having too much fun being a dog. I'm also starting to wonder, like, how much more is there left to do in the game, you know? I'm gonna need a little bit more metal, but I have more cooking, so it's not too big of a problem. Wait, I need... Oh my god, that one is complete trash. I need stone and wire, apparently. Uh, you need to do some PvP with proper weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're completely right. So that's the plan today. Just to go, like, big, big energy and see, see what's hanging. There was no uh okay, okay. that was a woe woefully inadequate roof we had there. So I So we have the armor we need. Maybe we bring some healing and I think we can trigger Probably server side uh, rewards. We might have enough hunter license for that. I also need to get. Uh, what's the crafting hell? Quickly restore significant amount of health. Let's do that. I need to get an assault rifle. That would probably pretty much be the goal today. Oh god. I didn't notice it before, but I have I have grenades. Jesus Christ. Uh just imagine ducks throwing grenades at each other. We have six hunter license. And we have two more here. 
if I can find two more, then I should have enough, like, to trigger a reward for the, like, yeah, server side for the server or whatever, without depending on others. Okay, okay. There we go. Could go with the nail gun. I honestly have quite a lot of nails. Oh, and I didn't have any arrows on me, that seems dangerous. Uh, on the license, um, you get it from killing humans humans and uh, and then you can use it to what is it called you can sacrifice it at the shrine and then when the server has sacrificed 10 then we get some air drops that people fight over that's my understanding see the base outside Looking quite good. Okay, okay. So let me see. There's a shrine here, so let's go for that. And I also need to learn how to do the the proper flying thing. Oops. Okay, okay, maybe going... Ah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Today should be a little bit short of a stream. Because I need to do something. Uh, but... Let's see how intense we can make it. It's nice and calm. I think this island was a really, really good choice. Or maybe we just got lucky. Like, doesn't seem like anybody has, has been there raiding us. Or maybe the walls are super low without me noticing. Oh my god. I feel so slow compared to our friends yesterday. I will yeah, I will need to try and learn it somehow. So what has it? I think it's gonna be like here. I think I know this island. Then we do this. Then we go up or something. And we do it again. So I don't know how you're really supposed to do it. So I always fuck up the angles, I think. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep flapping on the way up. It would be so awkward if there was just a human here shooting me. Okay, let's see. This should trigger some, uh, some fighting. Oh, it takes time. Can I just sacrifice everything at once? Wait, is that cooldown at the shrine? Wait, one. I'm so confused. So I don't have any more strong, uh, any more hunter uh, thingy. So does that mean? I spend everything to only get one drop. Or like, without even getting the drop, just to get like one path progression. Doesn't feel right. Hmm. I don't know, man. That would really suck. If it just takes everything you have. So it could also be it took all 10 and then it just takes time 
to like uh, make them work, so to speak. Let's try to go to the village. Maybe I am not seeing any dark buildings here, am I? I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, so that was just a tunnel. We can try to go and raid something, someone. What are the stats on the server today? We have 15 online right now. Not that many. Another shrine there, and humans there. Hmm. We could try to raid this dog. He seems like he has it pretty much all together. Okay, so that didn't do damage, never mind. Nope. Hmm. There was a chest here yesterday they wanted me to grab. So let's see what's in it. You need the explosives most likely. Yeah, true. We do have some explosives now that you mention it. Okay, so Did that kill him. God. Okay, I got two carried away. That was too much damage. Why did you go? Let's just loot as we go. Now oh, I have another hundred mark. Then we can test it out. Jesus, my. This dude had a sniper, but he didn't drop it. Would be really cool to have a sniper. <laughs> Ooh, sounds nice, Tintus. Joining the waddle. I looked up today what a group of ducks is called. So you can call it a flock or you can call it a wattle. I like wattle better. It sounds sillier. I think we could completely take over the server and just dominate it. That would be so fun. I pitch the idea to my girlfriend, she'll check the game tomorrow when I play. <laughs> that would be so fun. I didn't as much pitch the idea to my wife as I just said. That's what's gonna happen. Oh shit, what? Wait, how... What the fuck, what a trap. So, 
I worked at McDonald's as my first like job. What the fuck are you coming in here for? Jesus Christ. Um, and if there's one thing I learned working at McDonald's is that you shouldn't really ask people what they want. Uh, because it, it gives them too many options and people are not good with too many options. So instead you should just give them one option and ask, is this what you want? So for example, when people order menu, uh, you just ask, is that a big menu? Because if it's not a big menu, they will tell you. And they will tell you what menu they want. But if you ask them, what kind of menu do you want? Then it, they take so long to answer that question because they have to think through all the options and have to consider too many things. But you can really short circuit that and get to the real decision by just asking them uh, that, like for one thing. Then they will immediately know if that's what they wanted and they will let you know if it's not. And it's the same when they like with the sodas. You just ask them is it a is it a coke with the with the order? Like ninety percent of the time it is. Oh these are the this is why I need the cards. Ooh, ooh, a yellow card. Okay, but we should go get a card. So moral of the story, don't ask questions. Like, don't give people all the options in the world. Just give people very limited options and they will tell you what they actually want. Nice. Such a little hitman. Does the hitman games have a theme song? Yes, they must have. Yeah, you're going quite strong against human. True. But it's weird, it does less damage um, than the crossbow. I guess it kind of makes sense. It would probably get, would probably hurt more being shot by a bolt and a nail. Can we break this bad boy? Ah, you can break the weirdest items in this game. That's so human here. Oh. Yeah, I, I got a chainsaw. Yeah, it has a high firing rate. And it has a much bigger uh, magazine. So it's easier to fight with against the other people. I got a disc saw, they call it, but unfortunately, it's not a usable weapon. It's just uh, a thing you need to recycle. I also got super excited the first time I saw it and then uh, a little bit disappointed. I would love to see ducks with chainsaws going at each other. It would have been so fucking cool. Like Space Marine duck, st duck style. Instead of chainsaws, it is just chainsaws. I think I need to find a little bit more intense area. Where are we now? We are down here. I want to go there. So let's just go there, I guess. I'm getting a bit worried I might be a little bit light on the bullets. Even though I thought 100 would be a lot. I'm using a good amount every time I kill someone. Because of the lower damage and the attack rate and everything. Oh yeah, we're going to uh, like we're going to Tivoli, uh, Danish amusement park on Thursday. That's the plan, at least. It's gonna be all Halloween out, and they're gonna have like I don't know why, but they have a competition for Denmark's biggest pumpkin there. So there's gonna be like huge pumpkins and yeah, you know, kind of fun things. 
I don't think I've ever been there during the the Halloween season. But I've never seen it dressed up as Halloween. So I'm kinda excited for that. Okay, then I think we go that way. This kind of reminds me of the PewDiePie Rip Bridge. Why well, he almost destroyed his career. Oh, boop, boop, that's not what I wanted. The amusement park you went to already had his Halloween thing last month. Last month? What the fuck? Like, isn't that like a month too early? Did it start Christmas now then or something? Probably because it gets super cold already in October, yeah, fair enough. I guess the cold just hits differently in Finland. less people would come yeah makes sense but aren't you guys used to the cold like don't you laugh in cold space okay okay but i think i want to be a little bit careful because that's already a do that growing me Oh, it does have a uh, travel time. Oh shit, he didn't die. What the fuck? Yes or no? Guess nobody really gets used to it, like... Maybe more accurate, nobody really likes the cold. And still, it's much easier to hit you when you don't move. Jesus Christ. Getting flashbacks to scabs in Taco. We survived the cold, but some things like amusement parks are not so fun in the cold. Now I can imagine. It's, oh, I, wait, wait, wait. Especially being up in the, amuse, uh, in the rides. I guess the the swing thingy that you sent me is gonna be less fun at minus ten degrees. Two and one more disc saw. Like we can go downstairs. Um, wait, what is this? Oh my god. What is this place? It doesn't feel as secret as I hoped it would since it goes below buildings. Big boy. Oh, I think that was some good stuff. Some assault rifle parts. The amusement park is only open the next weekend and then it closes for the winter. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. And like Danish amusement parks are open all year round. Well, like stuff like Tivoli is because it has an attraction even during winter. But I think the rides, oh, um, the rides might close down, but I'm 
I'm not even sure about that. But it's also like Tuli has like it has an entrance fee, so it decorates all year round. And and it has a lot of food stuff that you can have fun with. I like that they did not get 3310 is a crafting item. So it must be used for the most durable of items. Most durable armors or weapons. This is a big building, let's try that. Oh, not so much a building. Ah, kind of. What's going on here? Somebody is shooting. But is, is, is somebody is somebody shooting at other people? That dude was sh okay. I don't know if he just instantly aggroed me instead. Suppressive fire! Okay, so that was just another human, but he was surprisingly aggressive. Uh, come on, continue up, you damn duck. Oh my god, this is awkward. Wait, how can I be that bad? Hey, I think somebody else is shooting at us. The healing is super modest in this game. Uh, I think I know what they use the Nokia phones for. It's for the machete. Oh, me machete? Machete? How do I don't know how you pronounce that. But... It seems like it's indestructible. So that must obviously be a Nokia that was used to build this. Would be funny if they made like a Nokia hammer thingy. So it's just obviously a Nokia at the end. I think like touches like that would just help to... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I thought about going melee, but then I think he has a shotgun. The good thing is that Tuli has a Ben & Jerry ice cream stand, so I can buy some of the flavor that's not available in stores. So, I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, that's, that's definitely not one of the primary reasons why I'm going there. But it's definitely not all, also not one of the primary reasons. Nice. He got executed. So I see some ducks. Did you guys see them? There's ducks on the other roof, like in the other building owner. No, it's not a duck, it was just a person. Oh, that was so disappointing. I really thought I was gonna have uh, have some duck PvP. Some dog and dog action. Yeah, I'm almost out of nails. I think I'm uh, widely abusing my ammo. I haven't been as careful with my shooting as I've had been otherwise with my bows. I 
that's the problem when you feel rich, then you just waste resources. And when you feel poor, you make everything like uh, you make everything matter and make sure every shot uh, matters. But I only have like three magazines left. Huh? I was electricity. I thought it was. Initially, I just thought it was bullets flying through there, or like the trails. Oh, 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 oh. So I think. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was nerve wracking. Oh my god, it was awful not getting him on the first uh, job. But I think I can probably melee most of the humans. How many feathers do I have on me? 260? That's not too bad. I need a thousand for the assault rifle. And I know I have, well, I had some at the base, but I might have spent some of them. Might have. I also think I need to make the auto, like, automate the crafting. Okay. I think it's gonna be hard for me to stop this, just because there's so much loot. But it might be fun to go to the to one of the mission thingies and try to do that. And I do think I have time for one of that, depending how how soon I go. So that was a dude down there. So he has a pistol. This I can just heal up with berries. If I don't get too low, then I think my ammo is more valuable. I didn't see that I got a shotgun. That's also quite good. I think... I think I just got really unlucky with my first human encounter when I just got shot on by the helicopter. You're getting greedy, go deposit the loot before you die. What do you mean greedy? It's almost like you haven't, you haven't seen me play before. shooting really really makes it feel like there's other dogs here what are, why would he be shooting at if yeah okay so there's definitely some dogs here there's a guy in there but not a duck, that's two dudes, two humans. Okay, another human. Oh god, it's gonna be awkward. Oh god. Oh my god. How fucking tangy are you, bro? Wait, I I chopped you like a million times. So what are they shooting at? So now they're shooting at me. They really change aggro fast. Do they spawn in that building and then they run out? Hmm. Okay. We could skip by the merchant.
I'm not quite sure what the merchant does, but let's find out. Greedy. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, is it tomorrow? Is the then there's only one month left for PoE two. I'll be honest, Princess. After the complete disaster Diablo Four, like the expansion was, I'm really considering if I even want to play Path of Exile. And I know it's a little bit unfair because they're obviously very different games. Oh my god. But I'm just starting to wonder if uh, if I even like uh, ARPGs. But PoE2 is free, well, unless I want the early access. So there should be no harm in trying it. It's just, yeah. It was not a fun what. Well, the problem with Vessel of Hatred was that it was not a fun time playing it, then it became a fun time, and then the ending ruined every fun time I had beforehand. It tainted it, like the last seasons of uh, Game of Thrones. I think that's the best analogy I can come with. I loved Game of Thrones, it was so good and I was so hyped for it after the first, first season. After the first season. I bought all the books and I read them in like a month or two. Like just, it was all I did when I had the time. And I was so stoked and so hyped. And then after the last season, it was like, okay, I will, I never want to rewatch this again. Okay, so this is quite a high level base. Yeah. I think this one could be fun to find some explosives for. Oh, I want to go up here, I think. And I, even though I feel kind of geared out, if I, I think if I find some really geared out people, I'm just going to get shit on. Wait, is this, so this must be the merchant area. Is that a no PVP zone? It's a safe zone. Ah. Uh, you don't look safe. Oh, it's a crow. Oh my fucking god. Jesus, right? Hello, sir. Hello. Can we, can we hide this? Okay. Uh, what do you have, good sir? Is this my things or is it your things? Oh my god. 2000 fun assault rifle. It looks like you can get and a, a, a sniper an ammo can be sold to traders but for how much like i'm not seeing a price huh Oh, oh, it's up there. Six feathers? That's, that's nothing, man. Oh my god. It's gonna take forever to farm anything if you sell it at, the, at those prices. Guess we could sell the paints, they're really not that good. Required to craft semi-automatic weapons, required to craft automatic weapons. Okay. Sounds like something we want to keep. Wait, where did the spring go? Oh, the spring was turned into like base materials. So what happens? How do I s 
sell things to you. But I don't want to put it on the ground. I don't understand this. Can be sold to traders, can be recycled. But how do I? S now I did something by clicking Alt. And then what happened? Then it, okay, so all puts it on the ground. What I wanted. Oh. <clears throat> oh my God, guys! Look at this peak mail performance. Peak duck performance. Wait, use? Oh my god, I can buy a duck skin. I can buy a hat. Oh my god, it's a real microtransaction store. Supporter pack for 5 euros. Honestly, not too bad. And you get some cool stuff. <laughs> I, will, I would wear this one. This bad boy. Five euro is not bad at all. Oh my god. Do you see our victim? I saw a victim. Maybe he also saw us. Maybe it's not smart to seek out combat when we are like like a pinata essentially. Where did he go? Okay, so he's flying back to his base. Wait, 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 wait. Can I get into his base? I never used a shotgun, but how hard can it be? Can he hear me out here? Would it be a dick move just to uh... <laughs> Do you think he can hear when the door fails to open? Yeah, our face is over here, let's just go. Whoa. Maybe I need to watch a video on how to do that, like speed flying thing, booster flying. I, I haven't figured it out at all. Yeah, I actually need sulfur because now I'm starting to make a uh, gunpowder. No, keep going. Every time I look I just see a message calling me greedy. Bro. Not greedy at all. Should we try to make explosives? I don't 
know how to do this. So if we make explosives and we go and blow up some bases and take their loot, maybe that would be cool. Oh. What if I just um, blackmail people? Like for example that guy who was in his base. I would just tell him that I put explosives on his base and he needed to give me a tribute, otherwise I would blow him up. <laughs> I think that's, that seems like a good idea. I think we should explore that avenue. Might as well get this salt on the way home. Oh my god, the worst. So I need, I need some gun upgrade, I think, and then I need a lot more ammo and maybe explosives. And then we just go around and killing people like killing their bases. So I'm not sure I will have time for it today, but I can start setting up, like get the explosives going and everything. Sulfur. I think we cannot leave that. I don't know why, but I feel weird that dogs have ball damage. And I really don't know why that feels weird to me. Like, of course, the dogs would also take damage when they're crashing into the ground. We deposited the base next to a huge ass rain. That's perfect. I think, yeah, base wise, one of the only things we can really start doing is, uh, is just to expand out, like put more walls without putting anything uh, valuable there. Okay. My security system works quite well against myself. Let's get an overview here. We can put this in and the metal things. And this is where my brain starts short circuiting. So we have we have 900 of those now. I think I saw some down here. Up oh, up the wrong side. I have these. I have a hundred more ammo there. These need to be recycled. And then where do I have those? I have a couple back there. I really like the idea of having a grenade. It just seems fun. We could do this. Uh, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. A little bit of cleaning. So this is. Put that in there. 
We can bring a green card. Uh, should we bring a green card? Do we need a green card? Am I not a native? Jesus Christ. We have this gun trap. A single shot trap weapon. How much do you take up in space? I think it's cute. So, I'm making the assumption that an intruder is going to come by the door, which he most likely won't, if we're being honest. Okay. This iron, I don't have a good place to put. But then. we can just do a quick upgrade. Oh, I often... Oh my god, my foundation isn't upgraded. Okay, most of it is. We, can... oh, we might as well keep it because I'm gonna have a lot of metal parts here. Nice! Pull out the coal, I think. Oh, I need some wood over here. But how? I have 22 minutes until it decays because of metal. So there we go. I think if we do this, that would make sense. So we do this. That's gonna fit quite well, hopefully. So now, I don't have enough ammo, honestly. I'm gonna need a lot more ammo. Ammo, 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 nagan ammo. How much is in one pack? Let's try to see that first. It's just, it just one, okay. Then ammo is more valuable than I thought. Okay. I think we might need the workbench level 3. We need 4000 metal parts. 90 metal alloy. We have 30 metal alloy there. Hmm. Hmm, guys. I think... I think upgrading the base is the best bet for now. But I think it would also be really nice to have... Um, to have a lot more ammo. Or this... So wood and metal alloy, I think we can do that. It might, I think now I'm going to start crafting for so long that it would be annoying carrying the items around. Assembler. So we put back this. Upgrade the base. Oh, the wall is upgraded. Oh, the, oh, okay, okay. Just doing like one cell at a time, essentially. I 
opened up with two more. Maybe the floor, like the ceiling is probably going to be the most vulnerable because that's the nicest place to be when you do explode things. Uh, do, 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 get those back. We have a green card. A lot of the places were yellow. So I don't know if I need a yellow card, but I only have blue, green, and red. Are they, do they do different things? Oh, I to craft weapons, okay. Maybe bring a little bit more healing. A lot more healing here. Maybe bring this just in case I run out. Then we have a backup gun. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh, that fits perfect here. Okay, gunpowder. What did I need for that? Uh, weapons. Charcoal and sulfur. And I think... Well, I have a lot of charcoal. That's for sure. Oh, this is unrefined or whatever. So put that here. Nope. Wait, it won. I didn't take it out. I'm stuck the silly goose. Put that down. What were these? Oh my god. I have no overview of all the shit I actually have. That would be like an entire stream by itself. It's just slowly getting an, an overview. So we put this in there, we put that in there, and then we just go crazy. Then we have this goes here. Maybe we just put that, this here for now. I think I saw some of it down here. Okay, so we can go to a shrine and then uh, praise Diablo Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we're getting a lot of gunpowder. That made a lot more things than I thought it would. Okay, okay. Huh. Let's maybe swap these two around. Just so we get an extra slot. Okay, guys. Wait, I'm just thinking because I want. I keep getting distracted. But I want explosives. And maybe it's the metal fragments and metal alloy. I have almost enough metal alloy. But I'm missing metal fragments. But I think that's just a matter of time. I wonder if you can repair your guns. Come on. For some reason, people were raiding K5 yesterday. I don't know why. Like, if, if it has a special thing or anything, or if that's just what they felt like. So maybe let's go to this shrine again and see how that works. Because I do feel bummed out that we spent 10 Hunters license and then nothing really happened. 
I thought something cool would happen. But I think the plan is going to be to just sulfur. Oh, no, I think I don't need sulfur. I have so much. I think the plan is going to be to just drop a lot of the things on the ground and then try to hang in one at a time or just try to only have one equipped at a time. I really like these updrafts. Yeah. You wanna fuck on me? Just practicing. For the inevitable con confrontations. So we can try to do this. And then we go up maybe. And we go down again. And we go up. So definitely felt faster, but yeah, I think maybe I just go down and then try to even out and then down instead of trying to get back up. Okay, okay, okay. So let's be smart about this. So we do this and then we drop these. Okay, okay, so it doesn't require 10 things, it requires a shit ton of things. So you can see how it almost didn't move. Let's see how little it moved there, and we put a lot of stuff. Can duck be smart? Ducks are the clever assisted birds. Are you a smart one? Hey, 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 hey. What are you implying there? I don't like uh, I don't like what's being implied. I think I might be the smartest dog on the entire server. Friendly asking. Nice. Did you see that? Got him. So we go over there, take five. Friendly asking, no, no. You don't ask someone friendly if they're smart. <laughs> I see through your lies. Oh shit. Okay, what is this house? That looks like a house we can break into with some determination. This doesn't seem like a super well protected house. Ah, oh, goddammit. Let's just heal up before we start breaking in. You cannot break, break an enter on an empty stomach, so let's go. This won't take too long. I hope. Is this really the best? What about? Okay, that's shit. Okay, we're already there. 
We're almost there. Maybe I could just destroy the door. What do you think his code is? 6969? Oh my god. I cannot believe that worked. Oh my fucking god, guys. No, 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 no. That, that could not work. You have to be kidding me. This is not real. I didn't just enter his house with a 6969 code. Oh my lord. The rest is kind of trash. Oh my god. This is so fucking funny. Did he... Does he have anything? Wait, is this also 6969? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, boys? The same cheese, boys. What do you mean? Every normal person, that when they think of a four-digit code, they think 6969. Oh my god. That's quite a decent hole. Right, not bad at all. <laughs> Are you surprised, Mencho? Did you not expect that? The sheer scale of my inventiveness and my ingenuity? <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> Let's get this powered up. Use to craft and resign. Use to craft some items and resign. We're not gonna resign. He even had an extra body armor, like. He had perfectly, like, he had decent loot. And he would probably be, well, I know I would. Wait, what happened? How did. What? Did I take damage by flying too hard into the uh, recycling bin? What the fuck? Oh my god. That's so fucking good. 69, six, oops, 6969 six, nine, six, nine wins today, man. What can we buy here? Can I buy explosives? Tactical hunting pistol, hunting pistol, military pants. Ah. I want some explosives, man. Something that goes boom. Are all um, are all blueprint stores the same? Or do they offer the oh they offer different things? Right and rods. A chainsaw. You can get a chainsaw. Oh my god. Night vision guys, that's fucking funny. Okay, okay. We need to come back here for the chainsaw. Hey Hunrich. Thanks for tuning in. And let's check out these places. What is that red thingy? Red is usually not good. Wait. Is this just a communal living space? 69, 69? No. Why are there things outside? What the fuck? Oh, the base is decaying, that's why. So everything is probably looted at this point. Nah. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so if it's not 6969, maybe this door is different. What if we do one three three seven? What with eight oh oh eight? 
Uh, like I said, that's locked. Then what, what do we think the code could be? One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Um, is there any other basic numbers? Hmm. What could be, what could be, we could just go all the way. Hmm. Meteor will be visible tonight. Drop rates have increased for certain loot, what the fuck? So there was another base over here. Let's check that out. Okay. I'm still high on getting into that base with 6969. It was bound to happen at some point. This base might also be decaying. Jesus Christ. We're talking a completely different level of production here. That's not gonna die. These are some big ass ovens. I didn't know you could make them this big. But everything here is just wood. Hmm. Okay, where's the weight down? Here we go. Ah, God damn it. don't go inside. Okay, so we try 6969. Then we try, oops. Try one, two, three, four, maybe. What what door combination, like what keys am I not thinking of here? Okay, so we're making work here. We're gonna get into this one. Shape? Any suggestions for shapes? Hey, Quackbeard. Thanks for tuning in. Like all the way around, or just four digits, like one, two, th four, five, I guess. All and four worth to try, true. I'll try it the next lock. This one is uh, locked down for 10 minutes now. Oh, you can help me. Um, one, four, seven. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, enter. Or how do you want me to pronounce it? TG, enter. Yeah, please. Um, I'm, I think I'm only going to stay on for like 30 more minutes, unfortunately. But uh, please come and join. I am, I'm just randomly, I don't care how you feel, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to break into bases. I'm thinking maybe I need to make some explosives or something for the better bases. Like this is a little bit savage. It's a little bit crude way of doing it. But uh, yeah, luckily I guess the code of one base. Oh, I can see you at 12. Yeah, you can just come by. I think you can see me, right? And 
grab anything from the base if you need anything. I found a place where we can buy a, a blueprint for a, for a chainsaw, so I might get that. Just for the heck of it. Okay, we're halfway there, guys. It's not gonna get take much more than a couple of minutes. I also upgraded the base um, as much as I could. It, my problem right now is getting uh, metal metal parts, metal scrap parts. I don't know. Uh, these metal fragments. So none of my cases were right. Okay, okay. Almost there, guys. Almost there. It's definitely going to be worth it. Just because the base is decaying and the rift was empty doesn't mean this isn't going to be good. Just keep faith. The garden drop protects. Oh my god. I need to study a better way to get into bases. And considering I have full inventory, I'm not even like this doesn't even make sense. I wonder if you can expand your inventory in any capacity, or if you just have a fixed one. Maybe if that supporter pack had a bigger inventory, I would buy it. <clears throat> Just to show microtransactions work. If it's <clears throat> if it's pay to win on oh, my throat today. <clears throat> I got completely caught up yesterday in the game and the stream. I just forgot to drink the entire three hours. So my throat was hurting a lot afterwards, and I'm feeling it today. But it'll be fine. We'll power through. My throat will become stronger. Oh shit, you got here fast. NT moves a lot faster than I do. I mean, maybe I'm just getting too caught up in destroying this door. How is this 12 kilometers, but this is 800 meters? Yeah, I'm breaking in. We're almost there, just four more health. And Fint is, it's, I, it's such a shame you missed it, but I guessed the code of a base. And then we just walked in and killed the, the owner and took all his items. And you will never... Oh my god. They did the same thing as me. Okay, okay. one more layer is fine. Guess, I think you will guess it on your first try. Just use your instinct and you will know what it was. Oh, no problem, man. Hunter. Yes, it was 6969. You're exactly correct. <laughs> so I got all of this loot from that base. Like from here and down. <laughs> And Minchu is having a hard time in the chat believing that uh, that anybody would use uh, 6969 as a code. <laughs> okay, okay. I think if there's a third door beneath this one, it might get a little bit upset. It doesn't take too long. I think it just takes like five minutes per door. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Fintus. Take care. I hope you have a good evening, man. Okay. Already down to basically 60 health. So that means we are 20% there, guys. 20% through this. 
I know it might not, I don't know, it might not be the most exhilarating thing to watch, but imagine all the treasures and all the goodies in here. They have some huge ass ovens. This must be a treasure trove of the uh, awesomeness. I don't even know how you get ovens that big. Maybe they just rushed the uh, workbench 3 or something like that. Oh my god. Imagine if I had a chainsaw just... Let's go right through that shit. That would be lovely. Hey Shadow, Shadow Hunter. Thanks for tuning in. Will you follow me? <laughs> uh, thanks for following me, bro. But is it like a, a follow for a follow kind of thing? Um, I, I appreciate the gusto and I appreciate the politeness in asking. But uh, I'll be honest, probably not. I don't. I don't need. Um... Okay, so what? What do you stream? What do you do? Introduce yourself. Let us know. And then there's a higher chance people will follow. Are you streaming right now? And if you are, are you streaming? You're just going around to different streams asking if they will follow you? I'm very curious. Just stream Clash of Clans, but can't get more than one viewer. Mm. Greetings, traveler. Hey, mate. Is there a more efficient way of doing Watch this? Watch out, I got some, um... Yeah, I got some shotgun shells. Are they good at breaking in? They do a lot more damage, it's already down to 50 now. Oh, nice. That's Eight. Pretty... Oh, nice. Clash of Clans. Um, do you also upload to YouTube or do you only do Twitch? Oh, sorry. Oh, you didn't hit me. It was. Don't worry. Only Twitch, then I would recommend you to do YouTube. Like, I... So today is the... But I'm on day 78, I think, of streaming every single day for at least an hour and uploading to YouTube. And... I... I have a lot of lovely people on Twitch, but a lot of them is coming from, uh, from YouTube, actually. And I have a lot more viewers and subscribers on YouTube than I do on Twitch. And that growth is much higher and then is being funneled into Twitch. So you should definitely be doing both at least. And YouTube is more important than Twitch. The only reason I actually do Twitch right now is just because... Uh... I just have a phone, don't have a setup or something. Um, that's fair. But you can still live stream to YouTube and you can make shorts and stuff like that. And I think you can do that. But yeah, I see. That, that's some issue, but yeah, you just have to grind. Just keep hustling, man. Um, I think Clash of Clans might be a really difficult category as well because you will not be on the top of the charts but if you see I think Dark Side is really good because there's not a lot of people streaming it but there's a decent amount of people who want to watch it so even though I, I don't have a lot of viewers oh my god it's the never ending doors I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a check if there's how many layers there are Maybe it's just a completely uh, fake. It's um, 
Is there anything up here? Uh, where? Probably right now. I think we're somewhere around here. One of these floors. No. I think in the middle of the... Looks like I got a lot more shells. Yeah, yeah, I'm a beginner too. Um, and it's just about persistency and try to be more entertaining, to be honest. And I remember Asma Girl talked about a dude who he streamed to one viewer for like one year consistently, one viewer all the time. And one viewer means you're the only one watching, right? Um, as the streamer. And he did that by year, every single day. 365 days only streaming to one person and then after that year something like that people started discovering him and he just blew up because he was so entertaining i'm really sad i cannot i don't remember his name um i really wish i did but it's just persistency and be entertaining man i think it's gonna be the last door now let's <laughs> hope I mean, at least I hope. <laughs> Me too, man. But they oh, might they just... have so many doors. Yeah, yeah, and they might just all be fake. Like, what's the point yeah. of making these doors if all the smelters are outside? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Let's check real quick. Like, there's always those... Uh... But famous. I get those as well. And to be honest, it is tempting. Um so I so I get view but spammers and I get people asking if I want to buy art. Like those are the spammers I get. I think the art is the most annoying because they will pretend to care about you and pretend to be a real person and then um, it will just end up. What is it called? They will just end up trying to sell you something, and they won't care about you or the stream. And I think that that's more annoying than just being upfront and be like, "Hey, wanna buy some shit?" And then quite fast, I can be like, "No, I don't wanna buy some shit," and then get it done. But maybe you could look into finding smaller categories of games. Oh my god. This feels like such a cock tease. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Just a couple of wood. Yeah, not worth it. Not the best. Have you checked the base over there? Uh, yeah. You can check it out. I think it's completely empty. I tried all the keys and I looked in all the chests. Yeah. So. The passcode is not 6969 and it's not boobs either, so I'm out of ideas. Oh, but I did open a base oh. earlier with 6969. Yeah, I was watching, I was watching. <laughs> That's like the worst code you're gonna have for your base. <laughs> yeah, it's the first thing everybody uh, chests. Uh, how do you even get the idea for that code? There are so many. Better codes. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun, right? See you, Shadowhunter. Good luck with everything. I have a relatively full inventory. Okay, yeah, then uh, quickly deposit. And yeah. Do you still have the red card? Yeah. You 
could theoretically do all of Oh my god, you're too fast for me, bro. <laughs> Look at him flying compared to me. I need to ask him how how to do it. Maybe if I just observe. So now he goes up. I think he's just waiting for me. So how like how does the boosting work? So I know you go um, down you and know, the bar the... fills, but like then yeah. you go up. So or if you go down, you if you go down, you charge this little bar up, right? Yeah. If you like, I don't know what you call it. If you like, what are you, is it crash to crash down or whatever? I don't know what, what it is. Yeah. yeah. It. Just, I know. If you go downwards fast, then the blue bar fills. Yeah, exactly. And if you then continue straight, if you continue straight, the bar will uh, decharge and you will get like some energy to go forward. What? All right. Yeah. And instead of just going forward, then you press space bar before the bar decharges. Then you get like the little boost. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Wait. Did I break a leg? Oh, okay, okay. I think... Okay, I need to play more with it, but I think... I think I understand it better now. This one just has a shit ton of uh, of gunpowder. Then here I want to put this. So. I just feel like there's no order to my my stash at all. We put Nokia there. Funny. Okay, okay, so we have some more recyclables. Recyclables? Is that what we're calling it? Uh, I put this here. Ammo. Rope. We're fine, but oh well, doesn't matter. Burlap. Oh, missing some wood. Uh, do you have pistol ammo or? I don't think I have a lot. It's in this chest next to the workbench. I try to keep all the ammo here. Yeah, that's 76. Yeah, I'll take some. Because uh, we need a, some, a lot of weapons and ammo for the oil rig. Wait, what? Oh shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, we are, we could do Ulrich, where we're gonna get a lot of really good stuff. Why uh, you usually get like, uh, two weapons that you cannot craft that are really good. A red card, a blueprint, and then some other stuff like syringes, feathers, 
and a lot of component and armor as well. Sounds good. Where is it? So it's. Uh, I marked it. I think you can. It's a yellow square at 3.9 km kilometers. Ah, oh, there. I didn't know you could mark things. Uh, it's with shift and left click. Ah, oh, that's smart. How much ammo do I need to bring? Like I have 400 nails. Yeah, you, you're gonna use a crossbow, right? Yeah, that's good amount. Uh, how many arrows you got? Uh, 100 arrows and 400 nails for the nail gun. Yeah, that's good. Should be doable. I'm trying to make a system in the stashes, but it's not working out yet. Oh, oh man. I'm usually playing on a different server, right? And, um,. We're probably gonna raid, uh, I don't know, probably like this evening as well. You got like, I don't know, 30, 40 rockets, like 30 C4 and uh, oh, another bad. 30 small C4. We're gonna raid a whole lot. That sounds crazy. You got all of the best weapons. The thing is, we got the best armor, we got everything. It's... Jeez, that's it's my, uh, that's my it best out. wipe so far. Yeah, we got the uh, heavy assault armor, assault um, cloth, and night vision. That's so much fun if you're real gear. <laughs> yeah, especially if the other one. Hey, all right. So he's just better at this flying thing than me. No, 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 no. This was not a, an effective way of flying. Jesus Christ. I, I feel okay when I'm just flying around alone, but whenever I see how much better entails are flying, I feel like such an idiot. Uh... So I think he just allows his character to dip way lower. Oh my god. Nice, 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 nice. This might... I don't know. This might be going a little bit over time with what I have planned streaming-wise, but... Let's see, let's see. It sounded fun. Estimating he's like twice as fast as me. Woo! Let's get the endurance and and then I don't know. Then we'll be good for some magical reason. It sounds like. Sounds fucking fun to have rockets and like, a lot of explosives and everything. That's gonna be the goal, maybe for tomorrow. Oh god damn it. And this is the problem why it doesn't feel like I can do this again. Okay, wait, let's... Oh, God damn it, I just flew into a wall instead. He's already 400 meters ahead of me. Okay, okay, I need this uh, noob draft. 
I'm starting to feel like good players don't use these. But it's okay. I don't mind being assisted. I don't mind embracing my inner noob. Jesus Christ. Might be some people there. Okay, it's no problem. And we'll just kill them. They won't be there for long. This thing, I don't know. I feel like that bar just disappears when I click space. I don't know, man. But hey, let's get to the Royal Rig. I will be there a little bit later. But I'll be there nonetheless. Maybe get this up draft. I'm yeah, I'm really confused why more streamers aren't playing this game. Maybe it's not big enough to be interesting for the biggest streamers. It just seems like such a fun casual experience. Especially for streamers like Asman who loves Rust. And he's gotten more like uh, mellowed out. So everything doesn't have to be that hardcore. Hmm. Are they shooting me? I will dodge. So looking at it, he might just be 30% faster, but it's okay. I also want to explore that meteor side thing. It might be quite ballsy to make a base right next to the oil rig. I think we, I think we fly a little bit around those humans. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. Enter. I'm just... My dog is way fat. You have to understand, I haven't exercised him as, as much. And I'm old compared to you. I also play them. I'm just using all my... All my endurance. I wonder if he's already fighting people. He probably is. There's no dogs here, right? No. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There is someone here. Nice. Then we're gonna kill him. Good. I see a helicopter. Where is that? I don't really know what those yellow uh, check marks are. Come on, come on, get to the draft. Nice, 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 nice. Come to meet you, okay. Am I supposed to be sneaky? Am I hiding from people? Don't talk, okay. <laughs> now you're acting just like my wife. Right in the squad chat. Uh... I I don't know how to write this, but I follow your lead.
Oh my god, I'm not good at uh, reading the chat. I see Ante wrote a lot of stuff that I didn't answer. Okay, that I'm fast. I also got about six hours playtime. There might be some people there. They could be the ones with some of the best weapons. One of my, one of Jeremy's biggest streamer, Tyramix, played Dark Side. Uh, look out for rooms, but don't push into them. Okay. But essentially, if we have a chance, we're gonna shoot at some people. Okay, so there's loot over there. So when you say don't push into rooms, does that also mean don't go in through open doors? Like this one? Like that room seemed pretty clear. Wait, what happened here? Okay, okay, so Ante died. I didn't even notice that, what the fuck. And there's obviously someone behind that door with a gun. Yeah. What, is, what are my chances of killing this dude? Sorry, I didn't see you die, bro. Maybe I should have brought a hand grenade. I got it, I got it. Don't try to kill him. No, no I'm gonna try to kill him. Oh, I don't have enough endurance. Oh my god, I'm fucking this up majorly. Where would he have gone? I think I scared him away. Oh! Jesus Christ, there's another dude here. Oh my god, okay. Well played, guys. Ugh. The first one that jump scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Yeah, there was, there was nothing we could do. Yeah, it's fine. It was fun. And coincidentally, it fits quite well with, I have to get off now. Oh, okay, okay. So, thanks for the team up, man. It was fun again. Yeah, sure. It was, it was a lot of fun. Need to find a better jacket. This is the best I can I have seen so far. An arrow. Oh, I need a hat. Okay. 
food. Um, yeah, maybe I should get a pickaxe as well and such. Maybe a metal axe. I don't really chop down that many trees anymore. Explosive arrow. Arrow sounds a little bit aggressive. How how do I get explosives so I can break into better bases? Um, either you find them in some crate, for example, an oil crate, or you get the blueprint. Roger. Or you just killed somebody who has some. <laughs> I know it should fit quite well. Maybe if we do a hat, metal alloy, metal fragment, and burlap, I should have that. Ah. Okay. okay, and then when this is finished. I have pretty much everything I need. If anything could do it with a bit of jagged. Better alloy wire and burlap. I think I have everything here. Might as well make it. Then ammo. I have flight range and accuracy. Okay. Wood and metal fragments. Hmm. But. No. Metal fragments are still so dear to my heart since I haven't finished upgrading the base. I think I will just pick up some stone and some wood and then we'll make infinite amount of arrows. And 66 is infinite, apparently. Just eating, eating healthily, getting some, some stuff back. Confused. Hmm. Okay. Trash. What happens if I log off while it's crafting? I guess. I guess we'll test it. Okay, man. Thanks again. Um, I'm I'm logging off. See you maybe tomorrow. Okay. Take care, bro. Uh, I'm probably not gonna play for the next few days because I'm on holidays. Ah, fair enough. Let me know if you have any other fun raids that I can join. Um, unfortunately, I can't today, but it okay. sounds like a fucking blast seeing you guys just blow up everything. Okay, yeah. Alright. Have a good evening. You too, boy. Goodbye. And with that, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been a blast. It was a shorter one today, but hopefully it was a fun one. It was for me, at least. And until next time, take care, boys. Boy.